Hi everyone, my name is Sanjana, I use she, her pronouns, and I'm a media project assistant at the Chapman Learning Commons. I'm currently in my fourth year majoring in behavioral neuroscience with a minor in law and society. Today I'll be sharing a bit more about my personal experiences in choosing my major, as well as some of the skills that I've gained from it. So I started out at UBC in the Science 1 program, uh, which is an interdisciplinary first year program that requires you to take coursework in physics, chemistry, biology, math, as well as computer science. I learned pretty early on that I wasn't really interested in a pure science specialization, so just a biology degree or just a physics degree, and I was looking for an intersection of science with something outside of science as well. Science 1 alumni generally organize a meet your major event where they bring in students who used to be in the Science 1 program to come in and talk about how they went about choosing their major and the considerations that they had, um, as well as some of the opportunities that they've gotten in the specialization that they did end up picking. This is where I first learned about the behavioral neuroscience major because it's a lot less talked about in most uh, faculty of science meet your major events, um, typically because it is offered in the Faculty of Science, but it does have a lot of arts courses incorporated in it. And I learned that this is probably exactly what I've been looking for because it is a perfect intersection of a lot of biology, chemistry, and psychology, which I've always been fascinated in. And I was really excited at the prospect of being able to take this specialization. When I was making my decision, I also consulted the academic calendar quite heavily because although there is a lot of flexibility, this also comes with the caveat of having to plan everything out well in advance so that you know exactly what courses you're taking in your third and fourth year. Um, because there aren't enough upper level science courses built into the behavioral neuroscience degree, it took a lot of time and research to understand what I could take to satisfy my degree requirements. and. The academic calendar is a great resource in guiding the structure of your degree and understanding when you can take which courses to graduate in time. It was initially difficult to switch between the approaches I needed to succeed in my science and arts courses because they both required different skill sets and different learning methods. Um, but I eventually learned to strike a balance by talking to some of my fellow peers, as well as professors in the program who redirected me towards some great resources and study groups, and I soon began to appreciate the differing approaches to analytical thinking that both sides of my degree offer. So if I have to pick the best part of my degree, and this is something that I've already stressed enough so far in this video, it is how interdisciplinary my degree is. I really love the fact that I can take courses in psychology, neuroscience, biology, and chemistry to satisfy my degree requirements, and it has really given me an opportunity to appreciate how these different disciplines approach the same subject matter. It's also really cool to see how so many different disciplines come together at the intersection that is behavioral neuroscience because it's given me a lot of valuable skills both in the lab and otherwise in understanding connections and just being able to appreciate the subject matter. Now, although my major is very interdisciplinary, <laughs> I still take a lot of science courses because it is offered by the Faculty of Science and that is the faculty requirement. However, I wanted to use my elective credits to branch out of the sphere a little bit and I found myself naturally gravitating more towards sociology and anthropology courses in my first and second year and I really fell in love with the introductory courses for both of those and I really couldn't pick between choosing to specialize for a minor in either one of those because I liked both of them so much and thought they added different values to my degree. And when I was browsing through other minors that the Faculty of Arts offers, I came across a Law and Society minor. And again, this worked out to be exactly what I was looking for because it allows for a lot of flexibility in the kinds of courses you can take to satisfy the minor requirement. I had some additional considerations when I was picking my minor. Um, the first one was how many credits it was worth and how well it would fit into my existing degree plan. 
I wanted to finish my degree in four years and it worked out well because I was able to fit in these courses in all the elective spaces I had and also just um, the courses that I had taken as electives in my first and second year ended up working out uh, counting towards the minor so I didn't have to take an extra semester or overload in any of my semesters. Variety in coursework was also an important consideration because I didn't want to choose between anthropology and sociology but I was also pleasantly surprised by the option to take other courses to supplement my understanding in both. Law and Society also has some core Law and Society courses which were really interesting takes on legal infrastructure as well as legal research and thinking which I found really fascinating and had always been fascinated by and it was just really great that I was able to explore this even though it is not part of my major. Overall, it's been a really great experience because the Core Law and Society courses have really brought my perspective on the role of courts and legal frameworks and given me many great experiences, such as being able to go to the Vancouver Supreme Court for assignments. And I'm really grateful for all the skills that I've gained from my major as well. And I feel like this is a bit of an unconventional combination, but a combination that has really worked to my interests. And I'm really grateful that there are options like these at UBC that I've been able to explore and integrate into my undergraduate experience.